Hey guys, okay, I've been, I've had technical difficulties, I have to get a new computer, so that's why I haven't had a video in a while, I recorded two videos, but I can't upload them because I did them with my camcorder, which has to plug into the computer, right now I'm doing this from my phone, so hopefully I'll have no problems uploading, so, uh, and the one I have to redo because it was a, um, Sabbath box unboxing, but I won their, uh, super Sabbath giveaway, so like for my Litha video I entered, and I won, so I wanted to show, I don't know, I have to, I don't know, maybe I'll just kind of redo that one instead of it being an unboxing, I'll just show you what I got, we'll see, uh, what I accomplished with my stupid computer, okay, so this is a little whole video, it's collective from probably since like the last time I did a video, it was, like collective probably over the last month, and it's from multiple different places. It is not going to be in chronological order of when I got it because I'm going by what's in front of me first because I'm kind of crammed into my kitchen right now. So anyway, uh, I'm going to start with, I went to TJ Maxx just a couple days ago. And that's, like, they have their uh, fall and Halloween stuff out now. And it's like really cool stuff. I could have spent like a ton of money in there. So I'd be really selective. So I'll show you what I got. Now this is probably my favorite thing that I got. You can see it. It's like a countdown to Halloween. And you turn those two, you see these two thingies over here? You can turn to each day. You know, it's like, I have one of these for my kids for Christmas. And we celebrate Yule, but... Yeah, we count down to Yule and then Christmas because that's with the family. But this one's for Halloween. And it has this cool black, um, it's a piece, like, piece of cloth. It's not ribbon. I mean, it's like a it's cotton. Anyway, I thought this was really, really cool. And this was $9.99. Again, this is from, uh, did I say it was from TJ Maxx? Uh, then I got, they had, um, a lot of kitchen towels, like two, a uh, two packs. There was a bunch of fall ones, some Thanksgiving ones, and a couple of Halloween ones. So this caught my attention right away. Double, double, toil and trouble. And I'll probably leave this out all year round. Um, and this is, whoops. <laughs> this is the one that came with it. I thought it was really cute. It's like kids trick or treating. So this would obviously just be just for Halloween because I'm trick or treating. But this one is probably going to be a permanent fixture. I love, like, Halloween is one of the only times I can get actual home decor that's here. <laughs> I mean, not really, but yeah, kind of. Um, so, what else did I get at TJ Maxx? Oh, this, which I have, I had outside on my patio table. So, it's just orange glass, kind of almost small to not a mason jar, but sort of. And then this is like steel, I guess. Um, and you put a tea light in there. And this one's a pumpkin. They had they had one cat. It was like the scared cat was um, was it was back arched and like all poofy and stuff. But it was like messed up. The thing was like broken. So I didn't get it. And I think there was one other one. It might have been a ghost. I think it was a ghost. So yeah, it's really cool. This comes out for you to you know put the candle in there and light it and you put it in and of course it glows orange and I, it looks you know it's really cool. But how do you see black used it? since I got it. Um, but I think, oh, the candles, yeah. Okay, there's more from TJ Maxx. I got this mug. I'm a, like, mug addict if they're these really big ones because I have a Keurig, so, you know, I have, my coffees end up being big because then you also have a Keurig, and if you don't choose the largest setting, it's, like, so strong for hair in your chest. So I need big mugs, so I'm always on the lookout, and this was cute because it says, which way out of here, which is kind of how I feel in my house before I have coffee, so it was appropriate. But I think, this was really cheap, but I think it was $3.99. I think the reason they were at TJ Maxx on sale is because it says which way out of here, which I would say requires a question mark, and it's a period, so that's, I don't know, but we're just going to pretend, we're just going to ignore that. Uh, then I got some candles. So I got this six pack of votives in the scent uh, pumpkin patch, and it has this cute little is like a charm. Um, these smell really good. A lot of my Halloween decorations that do only come out for Halloween um, are, I have a lot of votive holders for some reason, the really cool ones that, you know, you just put the votive in the back and it's, I'll show you this. 
I'm gonna probably put do my Halloween decorations maybe in tomorrow. That's that's just how I do it. Uh, and it's like September, which is today, September seventh. <laughs> These uh oh that was I'm trying to tell you the prices. Oh the towels, the kitchen towels, the two of them, and I don't know, I guess all TJ Maxx are gonna have the same prices, but they're not all having the same stuff. But anyway, the towels I think it was five for the set. These were four ninety nine for six motives, which that's pretty good and they smell really good. And then this pack was three ninety nine. These are taper candles called I guess I don't know, Howl's Eve. There was also white ones. It was a white candle with like a black spider web all up them. But I like black for my altar for Samhain, so I got the black ones. I thought they were cool. And then one more thing from TJ Maxx is just one more candle. And I already opened this. I don't remember how so I don't have the price, but I want to say it was $5.99, $6.99. I don't know. It was pretty cheap for a pillar candle. The scent is um, apple pumpkin pie. It smells very fallish. And I thought it was, you know, pretty. I like these ones. TJ Maxx tends to, well, mine anyway, tends to always have these, like, really, these really cool layered colored pillar candles that smell really good that tend to be kind of expensive. So, yeah, it's really good and it's nice. And it will look good on my altar for Mavon with the colors. Um, couple things from my local dollar store, Family Dollar. Yeah, um, these two little leaf um, tea light holders. That's what I'm doing with them anyway. I'm assuming that's what they're for. The tea light that's in there, and then the these um, battery powered tea lights. You see all the glitter, this orange glitter, and then I also got gold ones but I already took two out to put them somewhere and then I think they also had maybe yellow or green green I think yeah which they were only a dollar I don't know they still have them I want them more oh these were a dollar also and oh this I think came from family dollar yeah just this um cute uh, happy harvest pumpkin this is really heavy I don't think I don't know what they make these out of it's really heavy I don't even know. Anyway, it was, it was like a dollar, I think. Okay, so we did TJ Maxx and Dollar Store. And then, oh, I forgot some, I forgot like the best thing I got at TJ Maxx. This stuff falls over. This guy here. It's this huge, this is glass, the top is ceramic, and then this is just, you know, glass. Uh, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of an apothecary, which I love. Um, as you can hear, it is glass, and there's no, there was no, like, chips or anything. I mean, it's like, yeah, wasn't any chips, I'm not going to put one in it, but there was a couple different, um, on the front, I'm trying to think of what there was, I can't even remember, there definitely wasn't a witch, but, um, owls, me and owls are, you know, friends, so, uh, and he just was really cool. And I liked that it was black. This will definitely stay out all year. And this was, you guys, you see how big this, I, this is right next to me? This is huge. $12.99. Go to your TJ Maxx. Yeah, he has a permanent place in my kitchen now. Uh, my mom and I went to a local, whoa, fairy festival. Um, yeah, it was a fairy, fairy something festival. But it was all fairy stuff they had. They had the costume contests. There was a lot of people were dressed up. A lot of people had their kids there dressed up as fairies. So it's all these little girls, even little boys, running around with like fairies. It was precious. Uh, they had a white, like a gray colored horse there. They were given horseback rides with, but they put like a unicorn horn on his head and uh, were given unicorn rides. So it was all fairies. I like fairies. It was fun, and it was in this cute little grove that is all like surrounded by woods, just a, a small little place, I mean it was just precious. It was, it was very, uh, great atmosphere for a couple hours. But anyway, they had some vendors. And um, I feel like I got something else at this very festival and that I'm forgetting what it is. I looked all around my house. I know I got a fairy skirt for my three year old daughter for Halloween, but I, maybe that's just what I'm thinking of. Anyway, I've never tried these incense yet. I've heard of them, the vampire blood ones. I really like it. I really like it, and I like that it's um, natural. This and the the woods, um, they you know claim to be all natural. Versus 
Like I have a lot of incense too from from the dipper, and I really like them. But they're they're dipped ones, so they're dipped with synthetic fragrance oil, which whatever I still use them. But but I really like the natural ones. So and these these vampire blood ones, they're really good. They're expensive though. Um, but worth it. Uh, I also got from that same vendor the Llewellyn's Wishes Calendar for 2016. Uh, it's only September, but I don't know. I, I like really use the calendar in our kitchen, like appointments and it, I mean, I just, that's where everything goes. I don't have like a date book or anything. It goes on the calendar that hangs in the kitchen. So I need one. So she had them right there. I, I forget how much they were. 12 maybe? I don't know. But I know that these always sell out on Amazon, which is where I usually stop for this stuff. And sometimes I forget and they are sold out and then so I grabbed it while it was there and then I found a drum and this is this is a this is a good one um like it's real it's not like just some you know map it's handmade that's what I'm trying to say. it's not mass produced it's a handmade one um and she was originally the vendor who had these was originally selling them for 35 and then she had them marked down to like 20 something and then for this event she only had a couple left and she was trying to get rid of them, so she had them worked down to $15. So this was an originally almost $40 for this drum, and I got it for $15. And this is, I mean, this is wood. I mean, this is, you know, handmade. This is animal hide. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, and then the last thing I have, I might have to pick up the camera because I don't know if she's going to fit in the frame. Uh, this is from a craft fair that uh, the vendor at with my soap and lotion. Um, and the vendor, like, behind us, I don't know, I turned around and just saw this, bugs, I'm just going to attack by a bug, um, behind us, I saw this hanging, in, like, under her tent, and I went over and I was, like, expecting it to be pretty expensive, and it was, like, eight dollars, I think, you see this bitch? How stinking cute. So the lady made this. Um, it's like, uh, it's, you know, it's stuffed and it's sewn and there's felt and then just, you know, she gets the fabric and makes the, and then up here there's a little, like, uh, she got a little bling, I don't know if you can say it, a little rhinestone and with the feathers coming out and then she's on this, ooh, <laughs> she's on this broom. Can you see how cute this is? The lady said that her name was Wanda. This is Wanda the Witch. She even has, like, a little mole. Is that not crazy? Wanda the witch, and she has, she hangs this way. <laughs> this is so hard. She hangs this way in the corner of my kitchen, the witch where she will live forever and ever. Too cute. So, I think that is everything for now. Um, I'm probably just going to keep doing videos from my phone. I have a bunch of topics that I want to talk about. Uh, the first one is probably going to be a little, like, controversial. I don't want it to be. I don't want it to turn into that. I uh, just want to, like always, give my opinion on it. And so I will do that soon, maybe even tomorrow. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.